All right, guys, welcome back to the garage. Now, Sunday, the 21st of March, 2021. And we're just having a quick look at yesterday's work, getting that bumper and the driving lights installed. And it's going to be for a short period of time because those are going to be coming off the car. I had mentioned uh, yesterday that I was going to be blacking out that bumper probably today. Well, we're just going to leave that for a little while longer since the bumper needs to come off again for me to be able to do that. I figured I'll just leave it on there until it comes to a point where I need to take it off to be able to get the uh, front fenders or wings on. Secondarily, uh, I'd also mentioned that I'm going to need to remove the grill um, in order to access the uh, bottoms of the bonnet hinges or the, the hood hinges when I go to install the bonnet. So the grill will be coming off and the grill is only affixed currently with two fasteners at the top. So it's not fully fastened in there anyway. So just uh, be forewarned that uh, the grill and the front bumper will be coming off at a later date. So I just wanted to make that point clear uh, before we start All right, this we've video. got our famous list out again and we're just uh, going down to number four and we're going to consider that done even though it needs to be uh, possibly painted. Everything else is done. There's uh, basically only two bolts mounting that uh, bumper to the car that need to be uh, loosened to remove the bumper and the brackets are good to go so I'm gonna consider that point number four to be done although there's a tiny amount of work to be done uh, once we put it on the car finally like cleaning the brackets up in the back and giving them a quick coat of paint etc so uh, that is done in my mind for now um, so let's move on to the next point which is going to be windscreen painting um, so it's a nice day so I'm thinking of getting the car off of the jack stands and rolling it out in the driveway so I can actually uh, start sanding on this windscreen frame. It's got to be uh, sanded completely down um, on the outside. The inside's pretty good. It's pretty clean already, but we'll give that a quick uh, scrub as well while we're at it. We might even hit the corners with a, a bit of sandblasting. We'll see. But um, in order to get this uh, sanded down, I think I'd prefer to have the car outside. Since it's a nice day, the intent is to move the car outside uh, as much as possible when I'm working on Things like sanding are obviously painting. Uh, it's better for the car to be out in the driveway covered than in the garage with all that uh, stuff flying around, dust and uh, possibly paint flying around in here. So I think we'll get it off stands first of all, and then we'll remove the windscreen, set it up on a stand or a table, and uh, we'll start some sanding on that windscreen. All right, first time the uh, 68 TR 250 has been outside in the sun. That body tub has never seen the sun before, so I figured we'd do a quick walk around in the driveway <laughs> while it's out here. It's pretty dusty. When you get it out of the garage, you can see how much dust is on it, that's for sure. See how dusty that back panel is. All right, there's your walk around in the sun. Yeah, the dust drive dust drives me crazy, but I don't want to do anything about it at the moment. Just ignore it. We'll give it a good cleanup at the end. Everything's still got to be wet sanded, with the exception of the engine bay. But all the external bits have not been wet sanded yet. So those will be done once the fenders or the wings go on. All right guys, the windscreen is off the car again and uh, we're just getting ready to strip it down. And uh, I also took the vent flap off. We're going to concentrate on these two pieces first. Just so you can see how bad the prep was on this car. That's bare metal there. I don't see any primer whatsoever. So it's no wonder that uh, this paint looks crappy and doesn't stick very well. Anyway, um, there it is before the stripping and we'll come back and give you a quick shot after the stripping. All right, we've got the uh, windscreen all stripped down and now etch primed. The green is the etch primer 
and tomorrow we'll uh, sand it down or we'll scuff sand that back up and we'll hit it with the high build primer then we'll block sand that down and then we'll uh, hit it with the uh, epoxy primer sealer coat which is the black coat and then uh, color coat and clear coat hopefully we can get that done tomorrow so we'll let this dry overnight and uh, we'll get back to it tomorrow all right guys now Tuesday and we've just sanded down the uh, etch primed windscreen frame that we did yesterday in preparation to do the high build primer that we have sitting over here so we'll do that uh, as soon as we work on this uh, vent flap we're going to strip this down probably going to sandblast the bottom of it we'll uh, sand the top by hand or with a DA and uh, then we'll get it ready for uh, etch prime as well before we go to the high build stage all right guys the uh, vent cover or vent flap and the windscreen are now in high build primer and it seemed to have shot okay uh, I need to do a little bit of body work it looks like I've got a small little uh, dent here you probably can't see it but I've got a small little dent here that we'll have to add a little bit of filler to but uh, the windscreen looks good so uh, we'll let this dry overnight and then we'll start blocking it out tomorrow in order to get it ready for a base and clear coat well, I can't see that's pretty dark all right I guess while we're waiting for that windscreen frame to dry we may as well clean up our glass and I'll get off rid of all this residue from the old uh, gasket um, so we'll figure out what we're going to use on it uh, obviously Windex but uh, probably need some sort of solvent to get that gasket out maybe just some WD-40 we'll figure it out and uh, we'll come back when it's all cleaned up and ready to go back in the frame still haven't received my seal yet so <laughs> we're going to be waiting regardless until I get the seal to put the glass back in it's somewhere winging its way from the UK I believe but uh, Hopefully it'll get here All soon. All right guys, now Tuesday and uh, we've let the primer uh, dry and harden overnight. So we're good to go as far as sanding is concerned uh, today. So we're going to go ahead and do that. We're going to hit it with uh, 400 grit and uh, we'll flatten that down. And we'll get ready for a uh, black epoxy sealer followed by uh, three coats of base coat and three coats of clear coat. All right, guys, welcome back to the garage. Now, Wednesday night, just come up to about uh, 7 p.m. And uh, got the windscreen painted and uh, back on the car, sitting loosely with it, let it dry for about a day and a half or so. Turned out uh, pretty good. I've got a couple of little tiny runs uh, here and there, but I believe that's going to be covered by the seal, so I think I'm okay. The only thing that bugs me is somehow I've already got a chip in it. I don't know how I did it, but uh, Alin stopped by today and uh, we were having a chat and I noticed that I put some sort of little chip down here I don't know if you can see that in the camera or not it's tiny but it's an invisible area so we're gonna have to do a little touch up on that already that kind of bugs me but other than that it turned out pretty good I'm happy with it so uh, we'll move on to our next uh, project now which is going to be to uh, finish the backlight for the uh, Surrey top so uh, we've got the uh, it's an aftermarket one, obviously. It's uh, made by <coughs> Microplast, and there's the tag there with the serial number. So what we're going to do is we're going to remove all the seals from it. We're going to probably do a little bit of uh, body work on it. It just got an extra snap location that needs to be fixed up, and uh, probably a little body work on some scratches here on the back area. Um, and we need to remove the seals the best we can. Hopefully we'll be able to rescue those and reuse them. So we'll see if we can get those off. Now, I've mentioned already that I'm not going to be able to remove the glass from this uh, uh, backlight. So we're going to have to work around that. I do have a special 3M tape that I purchased to be able to pull the seal back, hopefully enough, to get some paint uh, in behind the seal. And we'll see how, that, how well that works out. So that is the next project on tap. We're just going to back the car, I think, out of the garage a tiny little bit. Make a little work uh, area up in the corner there. And then... Uh, We'll start sanding on this and doing a little bit of body work. The intent really on this is just to uh, fix what areas that need to be fixed, sand it down to 400 grit, and then uh, what we'll do is we'll put it in a coat of black epoxy sealer before we go on to the next stage, which will be the base coat and clear coat. 
that's the plan anyway. We'll see how it goes. It's supposed to be a warm day tomorrow. It must be 19 degrees Celsius, so it would be a good day to paint if I can get this prepped oh, in I forgot time. one more thing. Last night I had a little Zoom meeting for my local uh, Toronto Triumph Club, and we covered off uh, just a little bit about the restoration of my 68 TR250. So that was a good uh, hour and a half chat. I also had a gift uh, of some uh, Lucas uh, covers for my spotlights from uh, one of the club members, John, who watches my channel and is a friend of mine from the club. He donated these to the project, so they're going to look fantastic on the front of the car. So thanks very much, John. Elin dropped these off to me uh, this afternoon. So very nice. Thank All you. All right, the first step is to try to uh, save these seals if possible. So we're going to get the heat gun out and see if we can release the glue enough to get these off without tearing them. They're in pretty good shape. So we will see what we can do. We also need to remove some hardware here on the inside, some little clips. Um, these are the little locks that uh, previous owner installed, sort of a quick uh, release system, and some screws holding in the um, rubber trim there as well. So we'll go ahead and we'll remove on bag all of that stuff, and then we'll hit the heat gun and see what we can rescue. Hopefully all of it. All right guys, just coming up to 9 p.m. and uh, we're gonna call it a night out here I've uh, left off at trying to remove this uh, glue residue and uh, I tried some goo gone. I'm going to have to do some research on how to remove glue from fiberglass as I'm not really familiar working with fiberglass and I don't want to damage uh, gel coat or anything like that. So I'm going to do a little bit of research before I continue. So we'll call it a night here and we'll get back out here tomorrow and continue on trying to get this glue off and then we'll sand this down and do a little bit of body work before we uh, hopefully get it into royal blue all right that's it for tonight see you tomorrow all right thursday march 25th absolutely gorgeous day outside it's supposed to be a high of about 19 degrees celsius today so that'll be the warmest day of the year so far so that warranted having both garage doors open so that's a nice uh, change of pace anyway for all of you yelling at the screen yesterday for uh, what to use to remove uh, glue residue from fiberglass there's your answer acetone so after doing some research on the net and watching a few uh, YouTube videos, uh, it seems that acetone is uh, the best thing to use on fiberglass. It doesn't damage gel coat, etc. And it does indeed remove the glue residue with a little bit of effort. So uh, we're just going around the top and we're doing that. We've done uh, pretty much the front side of the uh, backlight and we're just going to go around now and do the edges and anywhere else that needs to be done before we uh, start doing some body work on the areas that need it. So we'll continue on with the acetone and we'll come back when we're ready to start our bodywork phase. All right, we've just got the Bondo out and there's a few areas that we're going to fix. I'm gonna do some little fiberglass short strand filler here to fill up these two holes that are not required. There's a pretty good uh, gash here in the fiberglass so we'll repair that with some short strand. Then we'll just use some regular Bondo here on these areas here. And there's a little bit of a something something there and a little bit of a little dig there that we'll fix up and then we'll have a look at the rear of the uh, backlight and see if there's any more repairs that need to be made there. Other than that, it's looking not too bad. Alright guys, we've got the uh, backlight all uh, sanded down and prepped and ready to go for paint uh, with the exception of this seal and uh, if you recall I was talking about a special tape that I bought to help me with um, leaving the seal in and trying to get some paint down under the lip of the seal so it doesn't look too obvious that the seal was left in. So I'm using this 3M product, it's 06347 perforated trim masking tape. And what this does is it goes down inside behind the seal. Okay, this is a hard plastic edge and this is an adhesive edge. So after you put it down behind the seal, you can actually pull the adhesive part to pull the seal away from the uh, frame, the backlight frame, and it'll leave a little bit of a gap. I don't know if you can see that where the uh, paint and clear can get down into. So this seems like it's going to work pretty well. It's going to be a little bit laborious to do the whole inside and outside, but then obviously we'll over mask up to the edge here with uh, clear mask or with masking tape and obviously tape the rest of the windscreen off with masking paper. But that's the uh, process that we're trying out and you can probably see it better from this angle how it's pulling that seal down. So I think that's going to work okay. Again, it's just a little bit of work to uh, prep it to get to that All point. Alright guys, the outside of the windscreen is done and uh, it's a little labor intensive to do that but you gotta do what you gotta do. A couple notes on this uh, strip tape. 
So it does come in various widths as far as the plastic is concerned. So this is, I think, 10 millimeter off the top of my head. You'd have to look up the, uh, the part number. I don't think it actually says on here. Oh yeah, it does. 10 millimeter down the bottom is the, the uh, plastic edge and you can get wider if you want. Uh, I didn't mention that these are actually um, segregated sections. So if you need to go around corners, you can easily tear it. It's perforated, I guess is the word. So you can uh, tear it in uh, sections if you need to go around a corner. So just thought I'd let you know that. So we're on to the interior now. So we'll get that uh, all masked up and then we'll apply the over masking with the uh, paper and uh, we'll get ready to do some spot priming in the areas that I did the body filler before we go to a sealer coat of black epoxy primer. All right guys, she's all taped up. Last shot of it in white. Next step, primer and a little sanding afterwards and then some royal blue and clear coat and hopefully it'll turn out okay. There you go. Say goodbye to the white. All right guys, 7 p.m. update, so far so good. Um, we've got three coats of clear on it now and it's looking really good. I don't see any runs, um, but we're not past the uh, critical point yet. It's not quite dry enough for me to be able to uh, not be worried about it. Um, I do want to unmask it probably within the next hour or so and that is also gonna be a, a bit of a test to see how that uh, tape did. I don't want to leave it too long where we risk ripping the paint. So, wish me luck when we get to that stage, but for now, it's looking uh, pretty darn good. Alright, we'll come back for one more shot when it's unmasked. Alright guys, just coming up to about uh, 5 p.m. on Friday afternoon, and I don't believe I did a wrap-up on the uh, backlight from yesterday. It was a little bit uh, rushed towards the end as we had a storm coming in and the car was outside and it was getting awfully windy and the temperatures were dropping really, really quickly. So I was getting a little worried that I wasn't gonna be able to get this done. So anyway, it is done. I'm happy with the end result. Um, I do have a, a little bit, uh, a couple of sags, um, nothing major. There's one little one here. You don't know if you're gonna be able to see that or not. That'll have to be fixed up. And then there's one that's a little bit bigger on this side that happened fairly late in the drying process. Just right here seemed to have come out from underneath the seal actually, maybe where I had that taped up. And I don't know if I, when I removed the seal it actually released some clear that was behind there. And that's uh, just flowed down a little bit. But other than that, it looks pretty darn good. For the most part, you can't tell that it was painted with the seal in. Um, there are two little areas where you can just see a little bit of white where I guess I had overmasked it. So a little there and a little there, but that's nothing big that can be touched up. So I think the next step will be to uh, let this cure for a couple of days and uh, maybe have to put the heater on out here because it's gotten cold here again. We're at about 50 degrees Fahrenheit, about 10 degrees Celsius and lower for the next week it looks like. So I think we'll have to put the heat on here to get this cured so that I can start to do a little bit of uh, a little bit of work on those sags to get rid of those before we actually apply it to the car. I'm going to do that off of the car. It'll be a little easier, I think. So there's the update on the backlight. And again, I'm happy with the results and uh, we'll get it on the car sooner uh, than later. Still waiting on my windscreen seal. Um, so no progress there. I've just got it sitting loosely on the car. So it is coming together, but slowly, but I'll figure I'll upload this since I haven't uploaded, I think for about five days. And uh, I don't really want you guys to think I'm do out here doing nothing. Anyway, that's it for now. Uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for uh, subscribing and thanks for commenting. We'll see you tomorrow.